What's up everybody, Josh here with Brutally Honest Beer Reviews. Well, I was just recording this video and my wife decided to call me and it canceled it. So I gotta start all over again. What the hell, Laura? Don't bother me. Sorry babe, love you. Anyways, let's start back with the beers that I've already drank and reviewed. But I can't post that one because it stopped and I don't know how to blend two videos together so just letting you know anyways back to the number one brew brew beer whatever the hell this thing is terrapin wake and bake it's pretty good I've already drank it <laughs> should I act like I haven't drank these before well let me open it <laughs> this sucks. Oh my god. I guess I should tell her not to bother me when I'm doing this. But she's in Denver right now, so I guess she can't. She she didn't know. So, anyway. Let's take a drink and I'll describe it to you once again. Mmm. It tastes like... Oh, I just spilled it on myself. Shit. Anyways, sorry. Tastes like uh, it's a coffee oatmeal imperial style. It's strong. Lots and lots and lots and lots of coffee flavor. I like it. I don't like coffee typically. I'm a vanilla latte kind of guy. Which I hate to even say that. That's embarrassing. But uh, no, it's good though. It's 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 good. Terrapin. They're out of uh, Georgia. I got I got beer all over. I got rags around here somewhere. Where the hell? They're up there. Oh well, I'll deal with it. Um, they're out of Athens, Georgia. Fairly small <coughs> brewery, um, from what I understand. But they get distribution in a lot of different places. So this is definitely, definitely worth buying. It's a little bitter. Um, it's a little on the beery side. Or, or I hate, I hate saying it like that. It's a little on the uh, um, like I burp but I taste beer I don't taste anything that's in here um, it says it's made with brewed with jittery joes I don't know what the hell that is oh I just figured it out jittery joes apparently is a coffee company because it's got see that one in there right there? that's a coffee cup Jerry Joe's. I'm guessing that's a coffee company. Dummy. Anyways. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Let's put that one back there. The next one. The next one was my favorite thus far. Uh, since I'm ruining everything for you because Laura ruined it for me. Love you. Southern Tier Blackwater Series Nitro Crown Brulee. This may be the best damn beer I've ever drank in my entire life. It is so good. If you like Crown Brulee, you will like this. This is the closest to Crown Brulee, liquid Crown Brulee, as you can get, I think. Um, so, I mean, you try all these like peanut butter ones or whatever you can taste the peanut butter um, you can taste the chocolate you can taste the coffee in, in that last one you can taste it but it's not like it's not like this this I swear to God I, I swear it's like they just took a bunch of creme brulee melted it down and then like turned it into permanent liquid I don't know how the hell they did it um, it's 10 percent uh, it's made with lactose sugar so that's probably why it's so sweet there's probably a lot of sugar in this stuff I can guarantee there's a lot of sugar in it as tasty as it is this stuff is I mean it's 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 amazing it is absolutely amazing put that one right there because I'm gonna I'm gonna drink the rest of that one later 
Um, yeah, they're up here. The next one I got here, Lagunitas Brown Sugar. Okay, this one's a, uh, <clears throat> they call it their sweet release. Lagunitas Brown Sugar Ale. I don't like the way it smells. I hate the way it smells. Let me put it that way. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, my hands are all sticky. Um, I, I just... Uh, I don't like it. It says a bunch of weird shit around the, front, around the label, around the outside, around here. I'm going to try to read it for you guys, but it's, it's awfully, uh, it's awfully hard to read. Um, let me see if I can get this light a little brighter. Oh, the hell is going Oh, there we go. Okay. That's as bright as it goes. Anyways, it says, we believe this special ale is something unique. Feeding brown cane sugar to otherwise cultured brewery yeast is a kind akin 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 to feeding raw shark to your gerbil it is unlikely to ever happen uh, occur in nature without human intervention and it looks weird besides but it has happened and now it's too late Lagunitas, what the hell are you talking about? Who the hell is feeding shark their gerbils? I don't understand. Please, hit me up. Hit me up. Let me know what the hell you're talking about. It doesn't make any sense. Other than, you did something that would never happen in nature. You made it happen. That's the only thing that I can think of. You did something that should have never happened. I'm telling you right now, by the smell of this, it should have never happened. I'm starting to get a little congested, guys. I don't like it. Nope. Nope. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Um, I mean, honestly, really, it's... It's not terrible. It's really not terrible. And maybe it's because I've had all these other sweet beers. Um, but I don't like this one. It's not, it's not my, uh, it's not my wheelhouse, I guess you can say. It's a, uh, call it their sweet release, but it's not really that damn sweet. It's, I mean, I can taste sugar and stuff like that. I can taste a little bit of sweetness to it, but it, it's not, it's not anything I would freaking I brag to you guys about. I mean, some of y'all might like it. I'm not saying, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm not saying don't drink this stuff. Okay, my palate and y'all's palates are going to be different. Um, and of course, after everything that I drink, it's going to affect the taste of other things. That's just the way it is. You know, I I, I totally get it. That's, that's just that's, that's just what happens. So, anyways, I'm just going to put that one aside. I, I don't know. Oh, shit. I'm about to knock something down. Um, my next one. This one is from Lost Coast. I've been calling them Left Coast. I think that's a wrong brewery. Lost Coast Brewery in California. Um... This one is uh, it's a peanut butter chocolate milk stout, a smooth and creamy midnight black stout with hints of roasted peanuts, coca, coffee, raisins, and toffee. I couldn't have said that any better. That is like the perfect description of something. It like rhymes, it flows well. I mean, to me it does. Uh, easy drinking for both casual fans and Aficionados. Cheers. That's exactly what it says. Peanut butter chill. Uh, peanut butter chocolate milk stout. 
with the cute little cow on there. Look at that cute little filler. Huh? Look at that cute little filler. <sighs> Sorry. I'm already drinking these things twice. Uh, things are starting to happen. That's <sighs> good. That's good. I like this one. Um, there's a lot of breweries that make a lot of these chocolate peanut butter stouts. Or peanut butter chocolate stouts. Whatever. I don't know if it's like dog food where the first name is the first ingredient. I don't know. Um, but it's good though. I mean, you can taste the peanut butter. You can taste the chocolate. Very, very, very heavy. Very thick. Um, that's, that's it? 5.6% alcohol. That's it? I feel like I forgot. That nitro creme brulee is 10%. Uh, this terrapin. Uh, I don't know what the terrapin is. 9.4. That doesn't taste like 9.4, I promise. I promise. That lagunitas. Fuck that lagunitas. I don't like that stuff. It's gross. They don't. Ah! ah! Shit, guys. I'm sorry. That's what I get for screwing with things. I apologize. Sorry. My mount for my phone broke. So I get it like propped up against it. So I'm just not going to touch anything else up here. Hopefully that won't happen again. This is terrible. Anyways, next to the last beer. Saw, was it Saga, Saga Tuck? I reviewed one of their beers last week, I believe it was, or the week before. Um, pretty good stuff. I think that, I can't remember which one that was. Go back, go back last week or a couple of weeks ago and take a look and see what that beer was. Um, Maine, Michigan. Says it was bottled on October 2nd, 2019. That's pretty damn fresh. That's what, two months? Two months and a couple days? Now, this one, this one was a little strange to me. But the nice lady at Total Wine said, it's delicious. You should really try that one. So I said, okay, I'm a sucker. I'll give it a shot. Blueberry Maple Stout. That guy looked like me. I mean, I like pancakes and all. More of a waffle guy, really. Gotta have real maple syrup, though. Don't give me that other crap, unless it's Aunt Jemima. She makes some good syrup. Um, yeah, blueberry maple style. Uh, let's see here. 6% alcohol. Douglas, Michigan. Blue Star Highway. We got a Blue Star Highway down here. Um, yeah, I, I took a little sip of this one before Laura called me. I love blueberries. Well, no, I back up. I like blueberry muffins. I don't like blueberry pancakes. I don't like blueberry. You put blueberries. In, you put anything in waffles? I mean, a waffle's a pancake, right? With just holes in it. Same thing. Anyways, I don't like that either. Uh, I don't like a lot of things that are blueberry. I don't like blueberries plain. But I love blueberry muffins. There's just something about a blueberry muffin I really like. So I'm hoping this tastes like a blueberry muffin. Even though I kind of already know what it tastes like. I'm just pretending that I don't. I don't like it. That is, here's the deal. Here's the deal. It's probably got real blueberries in it. It's probably got real maple in it. Let's see what it says here. Stout with natural flavors added. So it's it's got concentrates in it. It's basically what that means. Um, I don't taste, 
I don't taste any maple. The blueberry is very forward. Uh, it, it tastes artificial. I don't like it. It tastes like cooked blueberries, basically. Oh, uh, like uh, I don't know, something fake. So it, it tastes like fake ass blueberries. I, I don't like fake ass blueberries. I don't like I don't like fake ass fake stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't I don't like that one. Um, like, I feel like you could probably cook with that one. You know, you maybe put it in in something. I don't I don't know what. Like I use uh, when I make chili, or when Laura makes chili. Um, our one of our local breweries, Big Top Brewery, they actually have a pumpkin beer. Um, it's called Pumpkin Stiltskin. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. She hates beer and she really likes that stuff. Uh, she pours. I think they come in 16 ounce cans. She pours 16 ounce cans, uh, one can I believe, in the chili, cooks it in there, uh, and it's it's amazing. It's it's really good to drink, but it's really good to cook with as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, yeah, this uh, Saga Tuck Brewery. Uh, I think you guys. Uh, I don't know. I, th I think you missed it on this one. In my opinion, guys, don't. I don't want anybody getting offended here because I'm being a little too honest or whatever. But it's, this is this is all my opinion. This is all the way I feel. Okay. Um, maybe this would taste different if I hadn't drank so many other different flavors of beers. Um, but if you haven't noticed, this is this is kind of a uh, dessert episode, I guess you would say, with the you know coffee and oatmeal and the creme brulee and the peanut butter. And Blueberries. I mean, it's kind of a. Uh, yeah, I guess you can call it kind of a dessert episode, food episode, food D beer episode type of thing. I don't know. call it whatever the hell you want. How about that? Call it me just being honest about what I like. You guys can do whatever the hell you want. I don't care. But this last one I got right over here that I have not drank yet, haven't opened it. Um. What the hell is that? Some crazy ass bug. Um, I'm not sure about this one. Never heard of anything like this. Never seen anything like this. I don't know who in the hell would ever drink anything like this besides me. Uh, well, I don't know how to put this, guys. Uh, it's weird. It's really weird. Th things are about to get weird. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Let me go down after it. Okay, I got it. This. <laughs> this one, I am just not, um. I'm not. I'm not sure about this one, guys. I, uh, <laughs> I'm not even. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Uh, who the hell makes it? The New Braunfels Brewing Company. Never heard of them. They're apparently a very, very small company. Um, there's a lot of stuff written on the back, but I can't read it. It's very, very small. It's only three and a half percent alcohol, so it can't be uh, can't be that bad, right? Um, it says it's an artesian farmhouse. Was it artesian farmhouse beers from the New Braunfels Brewing Company? Now I've only ever had one farmhouse beer before, and I really really liked it. It was, it was really, really good. And I'm not, I'm not a brewing apps expert or claiming, you know, sitting here claiming that I know everything about brewing. And I really don't know a whole lot. Uh, very, very little uh, for my time that I've spent at uh, Big Top Brewery, Sarasota, Florida. Pardon me. Um, it's, 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 it's 
Look how sh it's like a uh, bottle from like a uh, Red Stripe. Very short neck. Doesn't look like it's highly carbonated, like they're like a normal beer. <laughs> the name of this beer is uh, is, is something. Is you want to see it? Huh? You want, you want you want to see? Oh, there's a little bit. You want to see it? What do you think that says? Now, look at that. Can you read that? It looks a little blurry. In case you can't read that, that says it's a pickle juice sour. This is a damn beer made out of pickle juice, guys. Um... <laughs> I believe that's uh, maybe short for pickle, and this may be short for, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you know what that is. I can't say it. Um, yeah, I don't know about this one, guys. <laughs> this is, this, this might be, uh, this might be the weirdest, uh, Weirdest thing I've ever drank. But I got my screwdriver because I can't ever remember to bring a damn bottle opener out here. So, let's see. Uh... Oh, that almost hurt. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I'm getting it. I'm getting it, guys. I'm getting it. Oh. Got it. Okay. Congested. It's getting cold outside. Or at least cold for Florida. It's like, uh... I just fuck. I just dumped it on my damn boot. Um, it's like, I don't know, 60? It, it, different kind of cold, okay? Oh, buddy, this pickle <laughs> effort. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm blown away. I am. Blowing my socks off. Okay. Um, there's no carbonation whatsoever to it. Um, it's, it's, it's very, very nominal if there is. Um, I, That is, uh, well, that's something. Uh, I don't hate it. I'll admit to you, I don't hate it. Uh, it, it tastes exactly like I thought it was going to taste, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to taste like pickles. I know I'm not the only one drink a little bit of that pickle juice when all the pickles are gone or you know you get like the big ones big old pickles you know you got like a bunch of them in the big jar you pull one out you pull two out you know you eat a few of them and you got a ton of juice left I'll drink some of that juice I like it it's it's really good for uh, like muscle cramps and stuff a lot of athletes do that not that I'm much of an athlete you know it says baseball here it's a free shirt golf tournament um, anyways, Tommy knows what I'm talking about. That was a good time, Tommy. <laughs> um, it tastes like pickles. It tastes like straight up pickles. It is, it, <laughs> that is the craziest thing. The craziest. Um, 
I'm not usually speechless over anything, but uh, I drink the hell out of this. I mean, it's it's tart. You know, it's a sour. I don't know if it, you know. Some of y'all probably drank some sours before. Um, I, I hate to keep throwing them out there, but they're they're right down the road from my where I live. Um, Big Top Brewery, Sarasota, Florida. They have their Ringmaster, which is a, a raspberry uh, sour or raspberry Berliner, they call it. Um, delicious. Very low alcohol content, kind of like this stuff. You know, three and a half, four percent, somewhere around there. I mean, you can drink a bunch of those. They're delicious. I absolutely love them. Um, but it, you know, it kind of dries out your mouth a little bit. This stuff here. I don't know if it's the pickle juice or, or what it is, but it's like, my mouth is so watery. My mouth is so wet. That was really weird. <laughs> I kind of wish I hadn't have said that now. Um, I don't think I'm, whoo. Actually, you know what? You know what this reminds me of the most? Um, more than pickles is uh, pickled okra. That tastes like liquid pickled okra. Um, minus the slime and stuff. I really like okra. Um, guys, I, I don't even know what the hell's happened here. New Braunfels. New Braunfels Brewing Company out of Texas. Y'all know what the hell is going on here. Let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That is the craziest beer I've ever drank in my life as an adult. Okay. I'm 38 now. I've been drinking craft beer for a while. That has blown my damn mind. <clears throat> I got nothing, guys. I got nothing. I, I don't even... I've never gone in for so many freaking sips. Never done it. There, oh my God, that is, oh. guys. I don't even know what to say. I really don't. Other than if you get a total wine around you, this is. Let me say this. This show is not affiliated or sponsored by Total Wine whatsoever. But if you want to hit me up, send me a message. I'll be glad to work with you. Um, not affiliated. I'm not getting paid for any of this. This is just this is just out of fun. Uh, I like craft beer. I like what goes into it. I like the camaraderie. I like, you know, I like all of it. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's 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 a it's an art. It, it really is what it is. It's a, it's an art form. Uh, it takes a lot of time, a lot of practice, lots lots of knowledge, lots of lots of smarts to really know how to do this kind of stuff. Um, you know, but these people started in their house. All of these, all of these beers that I tried, most likely started in their house brewing. You know. They came up with these recipes, some of them probably, came up with them in your house. You know, you want to start brewing? There's so many ways to do it. I personally would love to. I just don't have the room. Uh, you know, one day, one day maybe I'll, I'll start doing it, but I just don't, I don't have the room for it. Uh, I certainly don't have the time, I can tell you that. So anyways, guys, end of my message, end of my show. My top six, no, my top beers for the day. Some sorry, the Southern Tier Nitro Cold or Creme Brulee. It's my number one beer for the day. Absolutely number one. Amazing. Number two, Pickle Effer. <laughs> that, that is the Pickle Effer. That is the craziest beer I've ever drank in my adult life you know because i didn't drink before i was an adult that's really 
Yeah, anyways, um, we're not gonna talk about that. That's the craziest thing I've ever had. I have no idea what else to say about that. But stay tuned for next week. You guys, oh, sorry about that. If you guys uh, have any suggestions, please hit me up. Send me a message. Shoot me an email. Um, text me. Whatever. Let me know. Let me know what you want. For my YouTube channel, just got a YouTube channel now. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe. Help me out, peeps. Okay? I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to I'm trying to do a new thing here. So until next time. Have a good week. God bless you. Love you.